Hi, my name's Natalie, welcome to Vintageous. Today I'm going to be showing you the six different ways I roll victory rolls. Victory rolls are a staple of many 1940s, some 1950s and lots of modern pin-up styles. If you're wanting to replicate some of these looks, you're going to, be wanna, um, you're going to want to be able to knock out a victory roll confidently here or there. Now I've been rolling my hair for near on a decade now, which shocked me when I worked it out. Um, Still, when I'm rolling my hair, quite often my technique won't work so well. I'll have to employ a different technique to get the look that I want. Now, if you're just starting um, to roll your hair, um, victory rolls might frustrate you, and I'm hoping that some of these styles will help alleviate that frustration a little bit. If you've been rolling your hair for ages and you watch this and think, that ain't the way that I roll my hair, then um, share it with us down below, because I'm always really eager to learn new ways to roll and style my hair and I'm sure many other people will be too. Um, so share your knowledge please. Hair with a bit of bend in it will form victory rolls easier, there's no denying that. Now I prefer a smooth um, curl that's created from a tong or a hot brush as I have today, I've hot brushed my hair before this. Um, to create my victory rolls my hair tends to frizz a lot and if I set it in a pin curl set or a roller set the curls tend to be a bit tight and a bit fuzzy to give a good roll um, but again that's personal preference you're going to have to see which works best for you but definitely wavy bendy hair will work better than straight hair although you can do victory rolls on straight hair certainly when you've had more practice at it I've called this method the classic roll because it's the method I see most people rolling their victory rolls. It's not great for girls with layers in their hair as you can see my short side layers are about to fall out of this roll but if you have one length hair it's a really good option. Um, it gives you a great finished look and a lot of volume to the sides and a really nice swirl at the front. Um, so if you can do it then I suggest go for this one if you have one length hair. I'm just using about two bobby pins per roll, that's kind of all you need but if you need to use more then that's fine and just concealing them inside the roll itself, it's not great to see your bobby pins, hide them if you can. So a close up, um, you're just taking the ends, turning them under and then continuing to roll towards your head, attempting to tuck the roll into the side of the hair as you're rolling down. This gives a perfectly classic look. Really nice, tucks it in, gives it good stability. This is the method that I would use most when I couldn't do the classic roll. I pulled my hair out to the 45 degrees from my head and then flipped the ends over and began to walk the hair up the length of my head with my index finger and thumbs until I reached about two inches from my head and then turn the hair 45 degrees again towards the back of your head and continue to roll and this creates quite a nice little victory roll. Here it is in close up, I'm just walking it up till about two inches away, flipping it around, pinching the roll and then rolling into my head. Doesn't give quite as good a swirl and the victory roll is a little more turreted but it still works. The loop and tuck method is great for girls with layers or those of you with multi-tonal hair who really want your swirls to stand out. My fringe is going to be incorporated into this um, victory roll so you can see how easy it is to do with layers. You form the loop where you want your victory roll to sit and then simply tuck in the ends that are left over into the centre of that roll. And then you'll probably want to turn it once or twice down towards your head and pin it again concealing your bobby pins. You can see this method shows the swirl but it doesn't really tuck the roll into the side so you're not getting a lot of volume on the side with this method but you are showing your swirl off. So I'm forming the loop, holding it in place and then tucking the ends of my hair into that loop. You can see here how previously curled hair is really beneficial when you're doing this. So just tucking the ends in and then a little turn towards my head just to place it in the right place and bobby pins. So you're not getting the volume on the side but you are getting the benefit of seeing the full swirl. Not authentic as such but you're giving the impression of an authentic victory roll and unless someone's coming up and being very nitpicky about your rolls you're going to definitely get away with it. It looks like a victory roll. 
is a similar method for girls with longer layers. So you go to the end of your shortest layer, make the loop there, then tuck the remaining ends in and roll towards your head. This has the benefit of allowing you to get some volume on the side because you can tuck the roll, the hair that you're rolling, into the pocket that is formed by the side of your hair. You see, as you're rolling down, you can kind of tuck it in place, which gives a little bit more of an authentic look to your roll. And then just pin where necessary. See, pretty. Not authentic, but it works. Here you go, one more time, just showing you my shortest layer. Is there and I'm forming the loop at the point of that shortest layer. Tucking the ends into the loop. A little bit tricky. And then continuing to roll down. Trying to push it into that little side pocket of hair to give a nice authentic look. You can guess what this one's about. You wrap the hair around your thumb, pinch it off with your index and thumb of the other hand. You've got your little um, swirl made there and then you just roll it down. You can adjust the inside of the swirl and roll it down towards your head and pin it. Again, good for girls with layers. You can tuck them all in as you wrap them around your thumb. Remember to put your insert your thumb behind the roll. Don't try and do it from the front. You're taking your hand behind. You can see there I'm just adjusting the shape and size of the roll and then rolling it down towards my head and pinning. If you really want to make an impact with your victory rolls you might want to go for a modern pin-up style and these are a lot about volume 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 and to get this volume you're pretty much going to have to back comb a lot tease your hair to within an inch of its life now you can wash this out with conditioner it's not difficult to get out if you're careful with your hair so it's not going to ruin your hair totally if you're only doing it once in a while back comb your hair section by section now I've chosen to show you this roll on the front of my hair but you can really do it any way you like. It's all about the volume so tease, 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 tease and then make sure you do not brush that volume out. Here I'm just making the sections go together carefully and then ever so gently brushing the top layers smooth. I'm bringing them all forward, keeping the volume in at all times and I'm just sweeping the hair around and creating the pocket with my fingers. Now this is the pocket that I'm going to then form the swirl in. So you're not rolling from the ends, you kind of roll from the base, pretty much like the loop and tuck, and roll the ends into the pocket that you've already created. Again, this gives really good swirl. So if you've got multi-tonal hair, if you've got clipping hair extensions of a different colour to your own hair, this looks absolutely amazing because it looks like a little ice cream or something swirly curly like raspberry ripple um, swirling around it's really 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 an effective look um, I really love this this whole thing I was so chuffed with this roll that I just had to um, accessorize with my scarf of the moment my cute little button scarf um, yeah details down in the description box of where the scarf's from. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you try some of the techniques. If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you. Don't forget to send me a picture of your pretty face and your pretty hair at my Facebook page so I can share the, with the world how wonderful you are at styling your own hair. Click the like button if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to subscribe for regular-ish updates. I love you loads. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. This is what they call an end card. And on my end card are two videos that I've recorded for you. In the top left hand corner is a homemade face mask that really clears out all gunk and blackheads from your face. It isn't P 
PVA glue, but it has the consistency of PVA glue, you know, that stuff you use when you're at school. When it goes on your skin, you can just peel it off. So it is literally half an hour of awesome fun. Um, yeah, peeling off your face, very good, really works. And in the bottom center, that's a foolproof way to beautiful, glamorous, vintage Hollywood curls using a foam roller set. I love it. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So if you'd like to see the section down below, it'll be all my details and you can get in touch. Thanks ever so much, guys. Bye-bye.